Hey guys, today I'll teach you how to create a really cool mark your text animation with Elementor. For uniqueness, we'll make it two layered overlapping each other. And this design is so versatile that you can add it on almost any kind of website you have. Now without wasting any time, let's go to the Elementor. Okay, so first let's take a container in here and I'm going to rename this container section. And first on this container, make the content width full width. Then keep the width 100% and then make the mean height first select the VH and I'm going to make it 100 VH and it will just cover the whole height of this page. Then scroll down, make the justify content center, scroll down and make the gaps all zero. Now scroll up, go to the advanced, I'll link the padding on the top 120 and on the bottom 120 pixel. All right, now inside this section, let's add another container. And here make the content width to full width and keep the width 125%. And now I'm going to color this container. So let's go to the style tab and add a background color. I'm going to type the code 2563EB. We'll have a nice blue color. Then go to the advanced tab. On the padding, keep 10 pixel on all sides. All right, now inside this, let's add one more container. Rename this container cont just to keep everything organized. Okay, so make the cont full width, then make the direction row, scroll down, make the gaps 12 pixel. Scroll up, go to the advanced, make the padding 0. Now inside this cont, let's add a widget, just search icon list and add this widget in here and we'll have some list with icons. So from here, I'm going to delete all of them except for the first one because you can't delete it and first change the text to communication. Okay, then change the icon. On the icon, I'm going to search circle and I'll get this one. Select. Okay, after selecting the icon, I'm going to duplicate the first one. I need eight of them. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. After duplicating, I'm just going to change all the text. And I'm going to skip this part because I don't want to waste any time. So I'll come back to you after changing all of this in a moment. Okay, so I have added all the items. Now from the layout, select the inline to make every item in a row. Okay, now let's go to the style to style the whole thing. So first on the space between, make it 12 pixel. Then open the icon, make the icon color white, then icon size 6 pixel and make the gap 5 pixel. Then scroll down, open the text. First let's open the typography, then on the family, search for a font which is works sense. You'll like this. This is a really good looking font. Then make the size 24 pixel, make the weight 400 and keep the line height 29 pixel. And finally, make the letter spacing 0.48. It'll make the text a little bit compact. Okay. And finally, make the text color white and it'll be looking like this. But I don't want the line to be breaked. I want everything in a single line. So you can select this cont, go to the layout and instead of with 100% select the custom and on this field just type max content and everything will be absolutely on the row okay all right now select this icon list right click and duplicate duplicate one more time make it three so by making these multiple i'm making sure that the marquee never ends and also the multiple icon list will make this look even more smoother okay so keep three icon list, even though these are exactly the same. Okay, so we got our first mark you, which is not animating right now, but we'll make it animate once all the design is done. Okay, now first select this container, which is this whole blue thing and right click that, make it duplicate. We'll have exactly the same, but on this container, on the second one, go to the style and change the background color. So instead of blue, I'm going to make it dark color. Type 2B, 2B, 2B. We'll have this color. Okay, so basically we're done making our two main structure. And it's time to use some custom CSS. To use custom CSS on the Elementor's free version, we have to go to the widgets and search HTML. We'll have this widget. Let's add this widget right here. And it'll be added here. And on this field, we can add our code. By the way, we can see this container which came with this HTML. This can create some confusion among these containers. So I'm just going to double click and rename this custom code. Okay. Now let's get some custom code 
and add them here to make these interesting. To get the custom code, just go to the jimfahaddigital.com and it'll be on this page. By the way, I'll put this page's link in the description. And from there, you'll find all the code we're going to be needing for this tutorial. And first, you'll find this top layer, Style CSS. So from here, we can select all the code or directly click on this icon to copy it. After copying, go back to the Elementor and add the code on this field. Now go back to the GFD and this time copy from this under top layer style CSS class, copy this mark you hyphen box. And then select this container and from the advanced tab scroll down and add that class name under the CSS classes. And after adding that you can see the whole container is rotated a bit nicely. Okay. And also one thing, as you can see, the second one is over the first one, but I want the first one to be over the second one. So we can simply use this Z index, just on it, make it two, and the first one will be on more forward. Okay, now it's time to rotate this one as well. So go back to the JFD and we need some more code. So till now we were adding code for the top layer. Now let's copy this code for the bottom layer. So we can copy it directly and add it on the code base in our HTML. Now this time add this code before this style tag. So we can leave some space here, just add it, then go to the GFD, scroll down, you'll find the class name. This is mark you hyphen box two. And this is for this container, which is this. Go to the advanced and add it on the CSS classes and it will be rotated as well. Now the whole thing is already looking stunning but wait for the animation, it'll be really cool. Okay, so now it's time to add the animation. Go back to the JFD again and scroll down. And with this code, we add the actual animation. So let's copy all of them. Add that code in the code base the same way before the style tag. Add the code, then go back, copy this class name. And now we got to paste the class name. First, open this first container and select the cont, go to the advanced, add the class name on here. And it'll just start to move. This is sliding the text endlessly, looking really great. Now let's quickly add the animation for the second one. So go to the code, copy the code under the bottom layer, add the code here the same way, go back, copy the class name, add the class name, if you guessed right under the second container on the cont okay and it will start to move looking really cool but one thing if you can see this horizontal slide is there so you gotta hide it right this is looking really bad so let's open it and select the section then go back to the layout scroll down open the additional options and from the overflow, if you make it hidden, the horizontal bar will be hidden and it'll be just perfect. Now it's looking perfect on the desktop mode, but let's check on the other devices. Like we have tablet mode, we have laptop mode. Okay, so on the laptop mode, this is looking like this, but we can change it a bit. So let's select the section, go to the layout, open the container, and we can decrease the mean height. So for the laptop, let's make it 80 VH. Okay, it's looking perfect. Now let's go to the tablet mode. And for this one, we can make the height 60 VH. It's perfect. Now finally on the mobile mode. And on the mobile mode, this is looking really ugly, but it's really easy to fix it. And we just gotta open the container and select the cont. And if we go to the layout, we can see by default, this is like this, but on the desktop mode, we have made it max hyphen content, right? So on the mobile mode, we just gotta add the text again here and it'll be fixed. Now select the second cont and do the same and it'll be just perfect. And finally select the section and we can just decrease the main height a bit. Make it 50 and also on the advanced tab we can decrease the padding from here. Just keep it zero and it'll be perfect. Okay, so this is fully responsive. Now I'm going to show you how you can use the same mark you on any page you want. It's really easy. So suppose I have a page. Okay, so this is my page and I want to add that section in here. 
By the way, if you think this page is cool, we have other longer tutorials and we show how to make full pages like these. Alright, so let's go ahead and add that section. So let's say I want to add that section in here. We can do it easily. So now I'm just going to go to my Elementor and copy the whole section. Then go to that page and we can right click and paste it. And the marker will be here, but this is looking like this. This is how it looks without the custom CSS. That's mean we need the custom CSS on this page as well. So let's go back there and get the custom CSS. Click here. We can just copy all that. Go there. And I already have that custom CSS HTML on this page. So we can just scroll down on here. And at the end, I can just paste the code for the Mercu. And instantly it will start to work. But let's say you want to match the color with your brand color or the website color. So it's really easy. Just open the section, select the first container, go to the style and change the color from here. So let's say I want to add this accent color from my website. So let's type the code to this. Just type FFF64A and it will be changed to this color. But we got to change the text color now because this is looking bad. So let's open the icon list, go to the style, open the text and make this text color fully black and it will be nice but one thing also we need to change the icon color open the icon change the icon color to black as well now i just change the color for one icon list so we can just copy it and paste the style onto the other one and it will be just perfect now it's matching perfectly with our website right here although the color is matching the spacing between this is a bit too much so you can just decrease it really simply as you know on the section we gotta decrease the min height and here we cannot change it from here because on the tablet mode if we make it 50 we cannot see the changes here because this is showing the small screen so if we just close it you'll see the gap is decreased now and of course you can do the responsiveness for this section so for the tablet let's make it 30 vh this is for the laptop now let's make it for the tablet make the vh 30 and then go to the advanced only the padding just on the bottom keep it 100 and it will be perfect now finally on the mobile let's decrease the gaps first make the min height 25 then go to the advanced make the padding 60 on the bottom and it will be like this okay so this is now perfect okay so this is how you make marquee animation with text now go ahead and make one for your own i wish you all the best if you like this video please leave a like share this video on social media it would mean world to me before i end just a quick note if you want to build website faster check out kitpapa.com it's packed with ready to use elementor template kits for all kinds of businesses you can preview everything live see how it looks on the mobile and there's an easy video guide to install everything in just a minute Feel free to explore it, might save you a lot of time. That's it for today, I'll catch you on the next one.